Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Karis Harton still here. Just a couple of days out, finally, from getting it on at York Hall. How are you doing, Karis? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Um, glad that we're actually here. Only a couple of days left to go now until we're in the ring, but yeah, just mega grateful that the show's still ahead. Yeah, how has this big week been for yourself and what was the reaction on, I think it was Monday, when we saw that the main event wasn't going ahead? Yeah, so I'd finished up in the gym and then I was just scrolling through social media and I seen the poster about Boatsy and Aziz and I was like, no, this can't be happening again. Because obviously this time last year, the all-female card got cancelled at the O2 and I was on that. So I was like, it's like deja vu all over again. But um, my manager got on to John Wish and I spoke to Ben and that and they said it was still ahead. But I just wanted some confirmation on social media or a poster or something to get put out there to say it was definitely going ahead. So... I was a bit like torn apart at, at first. I was like, is it going ahead, is it not? But then once it was finalised, there's just obviously full steam ahead again, we're ready to go. Did it change preparation at all over the last few days? You not having sort of the confirmation immediately when you needed it? No, not at all, because you just got to stay professional, stay on it anyway, make your weight, go ahead as if the fight's going ahead. I'd done all my training beforehand anyway, I'd finished training. It's just all about just feeling good now, having a little move around, walking out, stretching. So there was nothing drastic I needed to do training-wise or anything. It was just staying mentally prepared, I suppose. Does it change the mindset? Because originally this was obviously supposed to be at the O2 Arena, huge arena, 10,000-plus fans. You're now in a very different arena in terms of York Hall. It's going to be smaller numbers, obviously, but a lot tighter to the ring. It's a bit of a different atmosphere you've got to contend with. Yeah, different atmosphere, but a ring's a ring at the end of the day. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to box so whether it's here my backyard or backyard leisure center whatever it's a, it's a fight and I've got to win that fight so mindset's still the same a win at all costs your opponent's got a significant experience advantage she said during the press conference she's been in there with some of the top names former world champions what do you see in her and are there any challenges that she poses that you maybe haven't seen before or? she's a good fighter but um, I believe I've seen everything as I've traveled the world as an amateur been to the world Europeans Olympics like I've come across every style there is so there's nothing that she's going to do that's going to throw me off guard or anything I'll just have to adapt and overcome it when I'm in the ring which I'm capable of doing so she has been in with some top operators she's a good fighter um, I believe she's got stuff that she does well and there's stuff that she doesn't do so well so I'll exploit them on Saturday you talk about those top, or top operators she's been in the ring with if you do a good job on Saturday night, you're going to be sort of looked at and thrown into the mix with some of the people that she's not got the win or maybe even has got the win against. That's going to put you in a great, great stead for the years to come, isn't it? Um, they're all different weight categories than me. Like Michaela May is way up there now, so I ain't moving up there. But um, yeah, you, you've got Alicia Bong on her, but she's obviously a weight above as well. But me, regardless of who she's boxed and lost against, me getting the win over Vanessa just proves that I'm on the right track and heading in the right direction. For yourself, you've moved fairly quickly under boxer it's been a not been smooth all the way through but how has it been for yourself have you moved how you wanted to move when you first signed that contract um, I'm happy with the way I'm moving yeah um, four or five fights a year potentially I could have one or, one or two more but there's just a few hiccups in the way every now and then um, but no I'm happy with where I'm going there's some big fights out there for me in this division especially British level and European level, and then, of course, world level when I get there, but there's some cracking fights to be made in my division. There's some names you mentioned up during the press conference. Who have you really got in your sights for the next couple of fights? Anyone and everyone that's ahead of me in my weight division. Whoever's above me in the rankings, that's who, obviously, I need to be getting in the ring with. And at world level, you've obviously got Sky Nicholson as well. She's really fought her way to the top. Is that something that you can see sort of inevitable down the line? Well, it's going to happen, definitely. But world level, you've got Amanda Serrano, Sky Nicholson, she's obviously, I suppose, knocking on the door for a world title shot. But you've got Raven Chapman there that's also doing the same. I su suppose you could say I'm maybe a step behind them in terms of the number of fights, but experience-wise and level-wise and stuff like that, the, the, I'm not a step behind them at all. In terms of that level, you must feel it's not actually that far away that world title shot for yourself or, or is that wrong? Um, I wouldn't say I'm years away from it, no not at all but like I said previously there's some cracking fights to be made and I don't want to just jump from like the level I'm at now to then jump into a world title shot like you've got to fight 
like I said earlier, and I don't want to just keep repeating the names, but it's the names that stand out to me that are doing well themselves that I believe would be fan favourite fights and really good fights. So Raven Chapman, you've got um, Nina Mienke, I think that's how you pronounce her name, European level. Uh, you've got Lucy Wilder that's also now fighting f against Sky Nicholson. Sky Nicholson, like there's so many good fights out there. Like you can't just boycott all them just because you're in a rush to get to a world title because then I'll come knocking on the door for a world title after fighting the people I've previously been fighting and I won't be ready. So I need them fights that I've just mentioned. Uh, I'll leave the final words with you, Karis. What's going to happen on Saturday night? Karis uh, Harting still win by all costs. <laughs>